Welcome back, Speed Gaming. We're here we're getting into match two. And I guess uh, Derp's cut this setup real short. It should be starting any second here. But here we are into game two of Pimmon versus Derp. The first series in the uh, Speed Gaming Live Online 2024 Super Metroid Randomizer Tournament using Map Rando. Um, so we just had a slower seed for the first match. That would be the more exhausting kind of seed to play, one where you need to do everything. And so it's going to wear them down a bit coming into this uh, second match. But we're off to a, a fresh start. You have no items. You just landed on a new planet. And we have a new left versus rice gamble. A left has some rooms you can go through. Right now. We haven't gotten to right yet. It takes longer, you know. Oh, competing elevators. That's exciting. Oh wow. So Derp finds the map. Timon finds the item. And I would say the map is better, except Timon's gonna find the left other item and then be able to just turn around. Uh, normally a map that that's the that is that far away, you don't expect to be able to get to with no items. But Trip was able to make it. Um, so this is a hollow dot over here. It should be power bombed. Then we saw X-ray. So X-ray is an item, but it's going to be on the way back. Uh, in any case, I think they're all going to do the same early game things. I think they both get all the items that are on the left, and they both get to the map and reset. Because right of map was Everest. So yeah, just missiles here. You actually do want these missiles. Um, just showing off, I guess. That you can jump more fucking. Because we're going to be passing by the ship. And it may be that Derp has caught up on movement. Okay, he's right behind him already. You always want to save here. But gonna... Save a power bomb by refilling after using it. Makes sense. Actually, Timon gets to take the shortcut through landing site. So, maybe left first wins off of that. But progression is going to be through wreck ship using the gauntlet entrance. The wall jumps up to gauntlet, iron logic on herd. And you might want to consider refilling after opening that power bomb door. Uh, the menus are very dangerous. You kind of want to power bomb them because it's not safe being here with menus. They hit for 60 ish. So two hits and you're dead. The ouches do 100. Uh, so you, you really want to respect them. And we're seeing that they're both really low on power bombs right now. Uh, Alcatraz Escape also in her. And High Jump is our next item. High 
High jump is not enough for Everest. High jump does enable watering hole. So it drips in watering hole. And gonna get supers from it. Nice. You're happy to see double supers. Uh, Timmy ran into right side supers in wreck ship. Which happens to be in wreck ship, this seed. And that is going to be Fantoon locked, logically. Once you kill Fantoon, the power comes on. And the worker robot moves out of the way. We're blindly falling to Spore Spawn Supers. It probably works out. A second pack of power bombs is very nice. So happy to have that. When you only have five, there's a bigger risk of running out. Save. So, so far a bit of a nicer seed, but we haven't really got started. High jump is enough to climb Grapple 2. So we only have high jump, and that means you do need to find more to do in Arc Ship. Like, more progression is going to be here. Uh, going up through Croc Speedway doesn't look logical, unless there's a refill up here. But we'll see. Crab Shaft is logical. We found Meridia. Uh, pause. No. The derp didn't get eyes on the item types over here in Norfair Reserve. You won't be looking for the map icons to tell which items are in an area. Uh, one pixel size dots are missiles. All the dots are energy tanks, reserves, supers, power bombs. And then the big filled in circles are majors. Majors are going to be everything on the tracker, plus Grapple X-Ray. Uh, the convenient thing about having a save right here is you can just blindly run down paths and take a quick reset. Resetting is a lot faster in Map Rando. Uh, there's a lot of things that are added to speed up the gameplay. And that's because exploring is a big part of the, the game loop here. So, like, there's an expectation that you blindly go down a, a heated room. And you could die off of that, so it's going to be faster resetting. So I'm pretty sure the top door of Crab Shaft is not logic, but the middle door is. And then the Meridia Tube is logical with High Jump. High Jump gives a lot of underwater movement, so most of the underwater strats are going to require High Jump on her. Not all of them. There's some that use Spring Ball only, and some that use Ice only. But there's a lot fewer that don't have High Jump. We are in Brinstar Reserve. Oh, that's a Varia suit, and Timid does not have that. What happened here? Yeah, it's gonna sort out our, our gamble. Various it was the winner. Ah. Uh, all that happened was Derp went right and Timmy went left. The, the classic map rando question. An ice beam, huh? Um yeah, I think Derp ran into heated rooms. So he's gonna immediately chase that with Varia. 
But we've also seen a lot of water rooms, and that's where Ice Beam helps. It kind of keeps running out of ammo. So we can't tell just yet what's going on. Timon is coming back to the right, and this is where Varia is. So if he does this, he'll be up a Ice Beam on Derp. And also, I just saw that Norfair Reserve has a Major. So that'd be a big reason to come immediately here. Uh, Ice Beam is filler. Grapple Beam is not filler. But ice is probably better. Ideally, you have both. Yeah, ice high jump would be crab shaft top door. But now there's a lot of doors in wreck ship that Timon just hasn't been to. You can't do the gravity jump to very quickly get to the top of crab shaft. But it's not logic. Um, and this is going to give the green pirate shaft items. Uh, if he wants them. There's no rush. I think there's a super in knee tank. Uh, okay, we get Meridian map. Big info. Mother Brain, Kraid, uh, Major at Alpha, Peebs, and two more right there. Those are easy to get. Can't really get uh, down there. And then Pants Room is going to gate Torian. Also Brinstar. Hmm. hmm. So there's a lot to do up here in Meridia. Uh, that is G4 elevator in front of Brinstar. So that's not something you can do just yet, but we'll see what the majors are first. You see two accessible majors, you go get them, and then that's going to change your route after that. And you can't go up to the top of Wreckship main shaft. That is going to be Crumble blocks locked. It's the Hoda Ruby missile room. So you have to come in from the left and do this gate glitch. And Derp is actually heading back to Meridia. I didn't see why I didn't get the wreck ship map. I don't even know where it was. But it's going to be good for Derp to be in Meridia. Um... So it's coming left. Ah, oh, speed booster. That's a good item. And then we have crab hole coming up on Timon's side. And with ice and high jump, that's in logic. Pretty annoying to do. But it's reasonable. Especially with supers. That's our speed booster. Does absolutely nothing in the water. X-ray. So you can't do this gravity jump into a turnaround that Tim is trying to show off. It's pretty janky. So it's put as a expert level trick. It probably looks reasonable to do, but uh, it's not fun to need to do it. So I'm gonna go for the fr crab freeze instead. I think if you freeze the crab early, then the higher crabs are gonna block your way. 
And so he's gonna kill the top two. And then refreeze the... And you do it flatly. And you rub against the crab to gain a little bit of height. And so it showed that off really well. I didn't spend too long on that. The crab getting up crab hole can take uh, a long time and just waste your time. So that's going to be speed and X-ray. X-ray isn't too likely to matter. There's situations where it can come up. X-ray is mostly for ice clips, but we have ways around most of the ice clips at this point. Like we've seen the Etikun E-Tank room, you can just go around. So what was here to the right? Rinstar, right? So they don't have a way up Rinstar. Up the G4 elevator, because it's a water room. That would take some underwater wall jumps. It didn't look like you can bring a short charge from another room. And Turf is out of there. Turf got ice and then left. He must not have gotten the map. Because he wouldn't leave two majors. It seems like Derp's plan is to get progression and then chase it immediately. But progression can unlock checks that are in front of you. Oh, we have grappled now. So that's another rule to always follow. See grapple, go to Everest. Here's Norfair. So Norfair has a one-way at the bottom of Everest. Uh, he's going to do another gravity jump to get to the, the middle part of Everest. That's just going to be fast. Oh, that's a funny little <laughs> Meridia segment. Goes into where is that region? But it goes into a region that's only two rooms long, and then it ends. So not checking the bottom left door. That's kind of what you always want to do when you enter Aqueduct, because you could just scout the two majors. I mean the two items in Aqueduct. It seems like he's going directly for the map. Uh, gonna bypass it. Hopefully not too far. Okay, he can get this. The quick Fantoon check. But actually, the map does not connect directly to this room. There's an in-between room. Oh, but it is another potential Fantine room. Okay, Norfair. Uh, major, some hollow dots, major. So the West Ocean Major is pretty free to get. The other one's kind of far away. And then there's also some hollow dots on the way. Hollow dots right now are mostly for uh, supers. They can end with ammo. Ten power bombs is pretty much enough to do anything other than crystal flash, and crystal flash is not in hard logic. Uh, plus they have area. 
So health is a lot less important once you have area. That's why I'm saying E-tanks aren't that important either. Uh, but here's an item in the water. It has to mean that it's gravity suit. Because gravity protects against water. Nothing else would survive here. Just wave beam. Okay, can take the wave beam and leave. Um. So I think the Oyo Ice Clip is in logic, but I'm not sure. In pants room. Because with X-Ray, you just need to freeze the Boyo when it's high in its jump. You need to be a little careful about taking damage. But uh, Timmons being very careful about this. Doesn't have grapple, so Norfair doesn't look that appealing. I'm wondering why he doesn't have grapple. Where did Derp find it? Maybe testing that you can jump back up with high jump? And you can. I said to go into Meridia for Ice Beam, and then when he left, he had Grapple. Oh, Norfair Reserve. Yeah, that makes sense. That'd be Wreck Ship, though. I might be mixing up my seeds, too. Seed bleed is a thing. You're playing these, you're trying to remember the route through like, a mix of uh, rooms. So when you're actively trying to remember, maybe you remember a little too hard. I don't need to know last seed anymore. We get Shack Tools room. Get some Orient action. Get to hear the Torian music. The game music that's played is tied to the region you're in. Uh, I think the other region related thing is. The larger regions are going to be the Norfair and Star Meridias, like always. And then the smaller regions are going to be called Wreck Ship or Torian. Okay, so we left Torian. Took a quick reset. Kill check tool, and that was good enough, I guess. But now it seems like Derp is on the right path. Timon has speed, and normally that's really good, and is something that you would go out of your way to look for in a map rando seed, in case a boss is locked behind it. But in this case, Derp is finding more maps, finding more majors. Here's the other one. Is it better than Wave? Phaser. Very similar. I think he decided not as good as Wave because he did not keep it. So now Derp has to question what is expected once again. All right, Timon in Wreck Ship again. Probably gonna be heading towards this map. Go 
can find that. Grapple Beam. Grapple looks like it is a lot with this Everest, but it is actually entirely bait. And there is no reason to come over here at all. So if Timon just doesn't go back to Criteria, it's going to save a lot of time. Uh, right now, Derp needs to come back to uh, probably Meridia. Maybe he wants to go to Wreckship first. We don't know the value of the speed booster yet. If you see it on the map, then it's going to be really good to go for. But he hasn't gotten that far. Uh, Croc Speedway is kind of a, a common one to have a path that goes above it, and then you take the speedway to get back. And so it can use one ways to require speed that way. Uh, not checking the item. It's probably not important. But here's a major. Majors are good. Maps are the most important thing. Majors are next most important. And it's a gravity suit right away, I think. Um, I'm in looking strong in this seed. I'll still get the map. And find out about grapple. That matters too much. Double boss. So. So. So the thing is, Ridley's right there. And we can't kill Ridley. So how do we go from where we are right now to killing Ridley? Uh, gonna need more than a handful of hollow dots. I always count power bombs as Ridley damage. But we're not that close, and I don't think everyone's as practiced at power bomb Ridley as I am. But we do see there's a, a major right here. And there's another one up the G4 elevator. So like, majors are out there. At this point, we want to find charge. If this is charge, then it's just a bad Ridley fight. Okay. A uh, nice short charge. Tower bombs do 200 damage, or but can't hit twice if you do it right. Charge ice does 90 damage, so it's not really good. So I don't know that you stay even with charge. Because the other major hit is Grapple. I think at this point you leave. Derp is going to have a, bomb, a better beam. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Spazer. Okay, he's going back. Just gonna reset X ray. I suppose Timon probably should have reset X ray as well. I 
Not really going to get any value out of it. And did take the time to show us how one gets up Crab Hole. But the Ice Shield Special Beam Attack does 90 damage per particle. And that's 360 total. So a double hit power bomb is kind of better. Derp is into Torian. Torian does not have gravity. And then I don't know exactly why Timon turned around. A reset. Okay. Derp just taking the reset as well. Uh, so let's see. You have enough supers to do half the fight. 25 missiles. It's just the other half of the fight is going to be really slow with charge ice. Is it, this is uh, Metroids 2. Right before it there. So you do need to watch your health. Tim is a strong speedrunner, but I don't know how he is at low ice. And what we have here is the low ice fight. This opening looks strong. If you can do the full power bomb damage, uh, then it's not actually that long of a fight. You don't need to do too many charge shots. Yeah, missiles power bombs is more than ten supers equivalent damage. Yeah, same Ridley strategy as Rip did last seed. Want to save your supers for the end? Fifteen supers after he turns red. And he's going to be easier in these earlier phases. With high jump speed, it's more like an 80% fight. So, just need to keep his health up and it should be completely fine. And then Dragon's going to be a grapple kill. When it comes to Dragon, you just need your health high enough to survive the, the graphic tool. Earth is showing underwater wall jumps. It's a tech that you a little bit need to need to practice it for being competitive. Because it can be really important. Uh, in these hard seeds, it's not too often that it's important. More so on higher difficulties. And yeah, this is one of the harder underwater wall jumps. Because you have to do it for longer than a few tiles. I'm actually going to give up on that. Leave that major behind for now. That's two Miss Supers. Super is 600 damage, so it's like seven charge shots. And his health is starting to get low. Does have gravity and varia. That's going to reduce the contact damage of Ridley by a lot. You know, it's very similar to uh, any percent fight. Okay, there he goes. Ridley's down. Yeah, when you factor in power bomb damage, you don't need to do too many charge shots. But it's hard to get that power bomb damage. And then directly into Dragon. 
Uh, so Tim is looking to be in a strong position this seed. Actually missed the super so it couldn't kill the bottom turret. Bottom right turret is one that you want to do the quick kill on. It would have been more useful than the top right. Okay. Uh, just go. Well, you can kill the turret now. With both suits, you don't need 100 energy. You can just do the quick kill right now. Earth is showing us how to clear Shack Tool's room from the right. You just push the snail. Unfortunately, left some sand. No. Gonna let Shack Tool dig a little. Get stepped on. Okay, Tim is through Dragon too. So Tim is looking good this seed. Just run out and then keep exploring. Doesn't actually need more items, but you do want to stop for like some supers and a beam. Yeah, this is Wreck Ship. Wreck Ship with the gravity and the charge beam. I think. Definitely has charge. Uh, don't think we've seen Fantoon yet. Three boss kills. Oh, we saw Mother Brain was in Meridia, I think, as well as Kraid. So it makes sense if Fantoon was in Torian. E hunters are just very are gonna do a hundred damage a hit. So Timmons position. You want to save before exploring any new area. So you can reset all the way back to the start if there's nothing there you want. Yeah, so the Ridley fight on Derp's side is not going to be faster than what Timon did. He dies in one hit to anything in this room. So I'm going to be safe about killing him. Well, a little safe. He could have been safer. But the map is right here, and likely Fantoon. Yeah, so that's all of our bosses. So we know Timon has to come up to Torian. Derp has already done Norfair. Uh, so Timon comes down here, gets the map pretty easily. And then, uh, I think he gets Wave Beam. Yeah, saw that was a missile by the dot on the map. But Ice Wave is plenty of damage to just end. So it doesn't need anything after that. Just Ice is pretty weak damage. Okay, another really nice Fantoon fight from Turp.
Yep, we got the Norfair map. Another look at it. Uh, actually, you could reset. Timmy could reset from here, and it'd be really good. I think a reset saves more time than wave. Maybe more time than plasma. That part's hard to say. Yeah, that was that looked like an E-tank. Uh, so that saves a ton of time over what Derp did. Derp cleared out all of Norfair and got the very distant major. Okay, Derp almost died again. There's nothing safe about Norfair. Or Norfair. Uh, so Pillar Room, you have to be pretty fast in how you do it to not land in the acid at all. So he's going to take a little acid damage, but hopefully okay, he got through. Uh, so now it's just the key stairs. Key stairs going down is pretty safe. So this is important. Brinstar versus Torian. Death. Uh, that death puts Derp at the top of the room. Not a big deal. So where are we going? Torian is closer. Brinstar has a major next to it. The answer is Torian. Is that another difficult Lauren or room? This is. Not that safe a place to be, it turns out. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy your lava dive on 46 health. Okay, so we're gonna spend some time farming here and then he can continue. It derps route to... Uh, not working out this time. We're 42 minutes in, and doesn't really have any of the good items for Lorne Orfair. Like it's just very, uh... High jump speed is pretty good, but you're not going to be killing enemies that way. So he just has to skill dodge everything. And is now taking a pretty slow farm. From what we can see of the state of the race, you don't want to be farming right now. You need to be going right to your bosses. And with Timon picking Torian and Torian having Fantoon, uh, Timon's going to be in great shape for taking the win on this seed. And it's also going to be a, a faster win than, than the first race. Since we did run into both suits a lot sooner. Even get to skip all of Brint's there. Just need to watch his power bomb count. Uh, actually, Pillar Room is coming up. So, really needs to watch his power bomb count. Hopefully that middle door is going to have a refill. Or there's like actually no way through. Oh, he's going to short charge this. Or shine spark this. That makes sense. That's what you would do in any percent. So let's see the any percent strats in the next room. Uh, you want to reset the room. Uh, this is Fantoon, though. So he's going to need a couple of power bomb drops from Fantoon.
clean. clean. Gonna jump. Ah, didn't quite do it. But not too important. But he needs two. Oh man. Maybe a lot of power bombs. The middle door and key stairs was flower house, and you can't get power bombs there. So he only needs two drops. He saved before coming this way, right? So that's the, the first case. As you go back to the save and then the lower door you get some hard ones. You really don't want to get health bomb here, but it has that full reserve. Not in danger of that. Oh no. Getting extra phases on this Phantom. Just extending the fight for us. We need to know if we can make it out or not. Drip left to uh, Princeton. I get the major, I guess. One. One is not enough. Uh, you should get the map still, I think. Uh, I think they have a very small chance of dropping power bombs. But I'm not sure. Uh, not Key Hunters, the Gold Pirates. I was going to big reset. and then just run it back. Well, you do what you have to. That's very frustrating. Um, like taking the save he had and going down to the power house wasn't wouldn't be much better. Because those enemies don't have a good drop rate. But right now he's gonna be more careful about power bomb management. It's a really unfortunate sequence of rooms. In the overall race, uh, Tim is still fine. Derp is just finding out about Sprint Star. There's some majors here. Uh, maybe he wants more water movement. Also doesn't have charge yet. So Derp isn't in good position at all. Hasn't found the last two bosses yet. But I think uh, should know where they are, which region they're in. So Timon does have the time to make this run back. Already into Torian. Have to 
Free shack tool again. So, key stairs. I mean, uh, three musketeers with the spring ball. With high jump spring ball, you don't need gravity anymore. I don't know if he's too worried about that still. I'd really like to see Timon use grapple to kill most of these enemies. The pancakes and the crabs. He's probably not happy about how this is going either. After such a setback. Nice Mission Impossible escape. I wonder what he's looking for with this. Is it uh, supers or power bombs? Because mother brain damage isn't all that good still. Derp giving us four spawn. So not only is it not what he's looking for that's up here, but also the city spore spawn. Um let's do some math. Can do the x-ray trick to try and save a power bomb. If you're too slow with it, you have to use an extra power bomb though. Um if you just stand up, you can x-ray climb. Needs to get up here before he loses too many power bombs. And probably pop into the middle room. So, um, with three, you still need one drop from Pantoon. And Precious Room has Plasma, right? Space Jump. We haven't seen Space Jump yet. So it's one power bomb to get up worst turn, one to get down, and you need at least two to get through Pillar Room. So you're just going to count on getting another power bomb drop. And that's not a fun position to be in either. Trained RNG. The flames are not going to drop power bombs. Now there's no real runway to the right of Pillar. There might be a way to X mode to try and spark, but I don't know if you can do that, and I don't know who would want to. And there's the kill. What do we get? Yeah, so that middle room doesn't really look like a farm spot. It's probably the, the only one that would be a farm spot. The heated room should have items. Yeah, this time we get two power bomb drops. He's good now. Plenty of health. And then. From here, it should be directly to Mother Brain, 
and it'll be a bit of a slow fight. You have to do half of it with just charge shots. But we know he has the time. Derp is... Derp's in the shambles. Just doing absolutely everything, and it's not working out. Because it turns out in this seed, Wreck Ship has Gravity Charge and two bosses. He just happens to be getting their last. So Timmons had another brain. Uh, it should be just over an hour. Finish time. And that's uh, typically the goal time. I don't actually know how far it is. I think it's just in Meridia to Mother Brain. Yeah. You can see it on Derp's side. It just has to get him on the brain. And then do the escape. And that'll be that. And Derp found Space Jump, but didn't get Plasma. So his weapons still aren't that good. Like Wave is really powerful compared to no beams. But like it's not gonna be significantly faster. And only now getting the third super pack. Well actually missed it. And he's checked enough majors that he's just gonna look for charge. Isn't he's not even that close on supers. Uh, bosses are placed. It is completely randomly, or randomly placed. There's a bit of map generation logic where it's not gonna be right next to your ship and completely prevent you from doing anything in a seed. Uh, the only, like, real boss logic is Fantoon is going to be next to his map, the unpowered map station. And that means Fantoon has to be next to a, a bit of a bigger room that can have three other connections on it. One for the map, one for the boss room, and then one door that enters the room itself. To get in and out. There's charge. Gravity is in Cathedral Room, but I don't actually remember where that is. Oh, here it is. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, the missile refill refills all your ammo. So maybe would have wanted power bombs. Now the other brain's right here. It can give us a nice ice clip. Easy enough. You need 18 projectiles is the main thing for Mother Brain 1. There's also a damage threshold. But that's not gonna be hard to hit. But then we need to carry the remaining missiles into Mother Brain 2. So 12 and 5, that's less than a quarter of the fight. Or wait, I guess it's less than half the fight. Supers are doing double damage. With chest ice, it's 200 shots. So it's going to be over 100 shots. Does have a lot of health compared to low percent. So 
just another case of how practiced is Tim in at Locus. We had Low Ridley earlier. That's uh, Mother Brain. Didn't actually get much weapon damage in that time between the two. Meanwhile, Derp has run into Ridley. Dragon's directly next to Ridley. And Crate is right next to Mother Brain. It's like he's down three bosses, but it's not actually going to take that long to get those three kills. This is the slowest part of the Ridley fight. Uh, 30 missiles is the same as five supers. So he's going to save all the missile damage for the red phase, and Ridley just turned red. So it's just gonna throw all his ammo in right now, Ridley will die. Dragon, you have the grapple quick kill. So these kills are gonna come pretty fast. And this is gonna be... This is still a best of three? Uh, at this point, expecting Timon to clear the fight. And that would tie up the series. That'd be one apiece. This is game two. Uh, they're trying to rush to get this scheduled. So, they're gonna have to rush harder to get the third game scheduled. Sounds like it's tomorrow. Um, yeah, from what we saw, uh, kind of evenly matched. Uh, Timon had a really rough first seed, or had a really rough second seed. So it could go either way. And that is Mother Brain down. Just needs to do the escape from here. And uh, follow the runners. Timon and TG Dirt. I'm both very good at Super Metroid. If you want, you can follow the Restream Crew, Aussie 101, the Hockey Towner. As we come to a close on this, the day's showing of the series be continued tomorrow. Uh, this is not it for Map Rando tournament races today. Immediately after this is going to be the Giddy Dang and MM2. And they will be playing all three back to back. And we're actually going to have Hockey continue on tracking for that full series. Shout out to Hockey. Uh, if you're interested in helping, you can join the SG Live Discord or just follow along the uh, ski, speed gaming schedule and uh, help us out. Uh, been a bit of a tracker shortage. It's kind of odd. Tracking's not that too that hard to do, uh, but we have uh, would appreciate more help. I'm getting these restreams going. Uh, this is just the start of the tournament. This is the first series. We have uh, 32 players in brackets. So that's going to be 16 best of threes. And then it's also double elimination, so there's even more matches after. This will be it for Timon securing their point. Tying up the series, and uh, yeah, gonna time it, tie it up. We're gonna have game three tomorrow.
then I don't know how much talking we'll actually be doing, because we are going directly into the next best of three uh, very shortly. Uh, game three is not going to be right now. Game three will be tomorrow. So instead, we're going to be switching into the next matchup. Uh, hey, Derp. What's Any up? Any quick words about the seed? Uh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> true. Too true. Yeah, I mean, I could have chased Wasteland so much earlier. I think it's it's in logic with just Varia one tank, right? Uh, you don't need much. It says that power bombs let you hitbox through the Diskigos. Right. Yeah, I did you don't basically everything else as you saw, and everything else was a whole lot of nothing that was helpful. Yeah, you did everything. Uh, Timon ran into power bomb issues at Fantoon. Uh, see, so yeah, joining us now. Yo, GG's. Uh, really playing to RNG at the end there. Had to depend on Fantoon giving power bomb drops to get back. Because that's a rough series of rooms. A pillar room and key stairs. Mm -hmm. I think I died there once. I'm surprised I didn't die more. Honestly. Okay. Hi. GG. Hi. There we go. Yep. GG's. Yeah, so we don't have much time. So really quick yeah. statements. Uh, GG to Derb. Rough first one. I, think, I feel like I broke the logic. But I... I have to check where I actually had to go because I just didn't know. Um, yeah. so I'm, I'm not 100% sure if part. I followed logic correctly in the first seed. Like, there were some yeah, parts where I, I went wasn't entirely sure what I wanted me to do. First two areas, Norfia and Kerseria, and then I went up Brinstar and just shambled from there. I, I, I saw Meridia with a uh, Kek Ali, and I thought, okay, that's that's a no go. Um, yeah, and then it went downhill from there and just waited for you to finish, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I think Derp did follow the intended logic in the first seed. Uh, that was, you go know, really far yeah, left. I mean, that, very, like, you could grapple. The bomb jump to get to... I guess I just had vanilla bombs. I didn't even need to do that silly bomb jump to the mom yeah. turtle item. Yeah, you just IBJ oh. that. Yeah, never mind. That makes sense then. I think that was the logic. I just did it a different way. I did it the cool way, as it were. <laughs> yeah, the second yeah. one, I heard you say RNG. Yeah, the Fantoon with power bombs. I really didn't know what to do if I wanted to check more or anything. I just then I tried the the X-ray stand up thing in uh, Key Hunters up, but I, I've never done it, so I didn't know exactly how it worked. Uh, so there's actually a backup for that. Like if you're just standing up and the blocks reform, then you can just do a normal X-ray climb. Hmm. Okay, I have to look and, at that. Yeah. They ended up using extra power bombs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fortunately, I got the two uh, two drops I needed in the second fight. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise, it could have been a lot faster. Probably, I think. My route was really good. Like, I got two suits pretty early. And then just, yeah, the low percent stuff was kind of fun, but also a little bit nerve wracking. I feel that for sure. Yeah, your okay. route Ran getting over to charge to where gravity was really good. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, 2 p.m. EST, I think we scheduled now for the decider. Yeah, hopefully we get a nicer seed than these two. I think both of these had a lot of weird uh, decision making, hoping for just an easy seed. <laughs> All right. I did get two two round fantoons, like in both That's races. Nice. That's pretty sick. I'm I got GDQ that. fantoons. <laughs> they were not great. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for. Uh... I guess letting us restream your feeds. Uh, best Thank of luck for both coming. of you. 